guys. Today we're going to be doing a review. Today I have SH Monster Arts Godzilla Jr. Yeah. I've got this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a box. Let's just take a look at it. In the back here, you have, you know, some pics of him, the figure. You know, the description. I can't read that because it's in Japanese. A little poster for the movie. Godzilla vs. the Spoya. We have a picture of him, SH Monster Arts, Godzilla Jr. On the top, here you have Godzilla Jr. A little picture of him. There's another picture of him. And yeah, I'm not going to read that because that is already there. It's been there the whole time. Uh, then you have a little picture of Godzilla Jr. Godzilla Jr. be writing. So yeah, that's the box. That's quite, um, uh, actually, I, before I uh, need to mention this, the box is kind of small. Well, of course, he is a small figure, but yeah, it's not really like expecting it from the box. But yeah, let's uh, open him up. See how good he is. All right, so this is him out of his box. But before we look at the figure, uh, let's look at the accessories he comes with. All right, here's the accessories. He comes with two little airplanes or helicopters, and. Oops, and these two little stands that come with it, and these little... It also comes with this interchangeable blades. Ah, uh, interchangeable blades, there are two of them, because there are two helicopters, so yeah. Uh, let's see if we can put these little thingy things onto the little patty things. so yeah. When I put these on, uh, I'll put them in pause it for a minute, and then I put these on, then let me see how they look. These things are great. Let me put them on. They're actually really nice. So you can see they're like little flying in the air. So yeah, they look very nice. Let's see what they look like when you put the little second rotors on. So yeah, let's see. Here's what they look like when you put on the non-spinning rotors. They look very really nice. I like them. A lot, actually. So yes. Alright, so here's what the figure looks <coughs> This is what the figure looks like. It's fairly small. Um, not very big. Uh, this compared to my hand. That's how big he is. Yeah, that's how big he is. He's pretty small, actually. He's not as heavy as the other SH Monster Arts figures. But yeah. Um, it's. Very nice to do detail. Let's focus here. There it is. Hold on. This camera's being stubborn. See this one looks a better. There we go. As you can see, the detailing on this figure is very nice. There, as you can see, the detailing on this figure is very nice. On the head, the head looks very nice. Then, here you got the little tiny spines. You have the tail. You have the feet, which look very nice. So there's the bottom of the feet. Let's focus on it. Oh, let's focus on this figure. There. Mm. The tiny little spines look very nice. Um, so all the way down to the legs and that's it. Let's look at articulation. Be back. Okay. Um, articulation on the figure. The head moves up and down. The, yeah. the jaw opens and closes. The head goes from side to side. And yeah. And then this neck part moves. And then we have the arms right there. Right there. And right there. And the elbow. And you have some wrist movement as well. 
So you can get him in some cool poses. I like to put him in this pose. That's the pose I like to put him in. Very nice. If only he came into fire and atomic breath. That'd be awesome. And you know, you have the tail that goes up and down. The legs move here, the thigh, at the knee, and over here at the shin. Yeah. Oh, and some movement at the waist and the upper body. Yeah. This looks very nice. Let's compare him to another, let's compare him to his father. Here he is standing to, next to uh, Burning Godzilla. This is the Bang Dad Creation version. For some reason this reminds me of Zilla. Maybe because he's so small and crunched over. But yeah, this is uh, him next to his father. He's like, son, I'm about to die. <gasps> okay. So yeah, this is him next to Burning Godzilla. Sorry for the shaky camera. <sighs> just, just saying. I'm going to stabilize it. Uh, so yeah, that's him next to Burning Godzilla. Very nice comparison. Now for the coloring. Uh, for the coloring, he's sort of a greenish color. The eyes, you know, they're orange. You know, the inside of his mouth is. The inside out is a cool pose. A nice pose. Battle stats. Yeah, but the inside of his mouth is like reddish color. And then, you know, the spines are white. And he's like this greenish color. And, you know, his toes and fingernails are the same kind of white as the spines. It kind of reminds me of Godzilla Source. This is like Zilla mixed with Godzilla Saurus. Yeah. So, yeah. And, 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 <coughs> dislikes of this figure. Uh, dislikes this. Look at that. You can see right through him if you angle it right there. See right here at the arm and right here at the thigh. You can see right through him. Which is kind of annoying at times when you're like making movies, you're like, raw, and then you see this, you're like, what is that? You can see through him. And it's like, yeah, I know. So, yeah. But, that's really it. Uh, anyway, I totally recommend this guy to anyone out there that is willing to pay. I paid $50 for this. Uh, good price. I mean, so it's okay. Oh, good lord. Where, where does hang go? Okay, okay, there it is. This hand really is not close to him. No, it's not right here. But still. Um, I... And anyone wants to buy this, sure, go ahead. It's, it's, it's a really great figure. It goes well with your, with your collection. It has great detailing. Looks just accurate. And it comes with little mini helicopters you can use in your movies. So yeah, I'd recommend this guy to anyone out there who's willing to pay for an SH Monster Arts figure. Yeah, that's it for today. <coughs> Remember to like my Facebook page um, and visit my other channel, Go Gojira Reviews 123 News. Thank you, and that's all. See ya.